So I would be reading an offering from Ambrish Prabhu and Swaha Mataji today. This is from Ambrish Prabhu. Swaha and I are heartbroken by your departure. You have been the most loyal servant of Srila Prabhupada for many years. I remember fondly the time we were together in Kurukshetra. I was very comforted by that fact you had taken the project under your guidance. I also remember being in Moscow with you when you were leading the project there. You have been a stalwart supporter of the TOVP and we are most grateful for your inspiration and support. We will surely miss your able leadership as the shining beacon of Krishna consciousness. This is Ambrish Prabhu, now I am reading Swaha Mataji's offering. As I fight back tears, broken hearted, that although we were fortunate to have seen you in Mayapur and at the Juhu temple just a few months back, we are now suddenly bereft of your sublime association. I wish to express my deepest gratitude and appreciation for your kindness towards me always. Dear Maharaj, you treated me like a daughter and I feel privileged to have had the good fortune of cooking for you when you visited us. At a preaching program in New Delhi, after I spoke, you encouraged me like a loving father by appreciating my contribution. I remember just a few years back in Mayapur, as I was coming down the stairs and you were heading out for your morning walk, you took the trouble to show me your elaborate altar with your worshipable Lords, I remember how you kindly arranged for us to go to Sri Vindavan Dam when my parents were visiting from Australia one year. You personally gave me a tour of the museum at the glory of India, Sri Sri Radha Parthasarathy Mandir, which was being completed at that time. I have fond memories of honoring Prashadam with you in your apartment along with Prabhu and the love and affection shown by you and your disciples serving us. He showed us the world's largest Bhagavad Gita that was going to be inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi ji a few years later during that visit. In fact, it was your personal relationship with Modi ji that brought about the production of the coin commemorating Srila Prabhupada's 125th birth anniversary. Modi ji, words honoring your life show how deeply you have touched his heart. You are one of the greatest generals in our Senapati Acharya Srila Prabhupada's army. Although you closed the chapter of your service here on Mother Bhumi, you have entered your eternal pastimes with him. Your glories are being sung in all the three worlds for your exemplary devotion and dedication to Srila Prabhupada and spreading Lord Chaitanya's glories worldwide. We will forever remain indebted to you for your mercy and pray we may be of service to your Exalted disciples, feeling the deep pain of separation, we beg to remind your humble servant Ambrish Das and Swaha Devi Dasi.